You'll go to the mountain, count to ten. You'll fall on the world like an ugly music. I feel like ugly music has been almost a testament to my life, especially early on, um, and it encompasses both beauty and, and rawness. Hey there, folks. This is Dean Ellie Antigua, Poet Laureate of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Poet Laureate of Your Hearts, and host of the new podcast, Bread and Poetry. So I'm from Haverhill, Massachusetts. I was born and raised in that area, the Merrimack Valley area. I am the youngest of four. I'm Dominican American. Um, my parents were born in the Dominican Republic and they met here in the States. Um, I'm a Virgo. I'm obsessed with cleanliness and organization. Um, and I actually feel like that really translates a lot to my experience with, with language. Um, I think that, you know, growing up, I always wanted to be able to label something and put it into a category that made sense, you know, call it something, name it something. And I feel like poetry was a way in to, to name things, to give things meaning. My mother was a children's librarian and I spent a lot of time in the library shelving books and helping her with story time. And I was just surrounded by, by language, by words. And it was, you know, almost impossible not to come out a writer after having that, that upbringing. Um, I started writing in journals when I was nine years old. My oldest sister gave me a journal for Christmas. And I remember some of my first entries were about, you know, AJ from the Backstreet Boys and how I had a crush on the boy in my class. Um, and it was just so innocent at the beginning. And, you know, as I started to get older and continue to write, you just could see like the evolution of, of my life and of, of myself and how I was becoming, you know, a young adult and a woman. And my journals were you know, my faithful companions the, the whole way. And I, I owe a lot to, to language, a lot to words. It's, I feel like, you know, poetry has saved me in a lot of ways. Um, I, you know, have had a lot of trauma in my life, especially early on. I also grew up very religious and it was a very strict system and I had very little agency and very little control over my own life. And poetry was the way to break free from that. And it was, you know, an opportunity for me to explore who I was outside of this, you know, religious system and really come into my own. And it's, it's been the tool that's been most helpful as I've gone through my healing journey, um, my notebooks now, you know, my journals have transformed from, you know, journal entries to now therapy notes. And it's something that I feel really strongly about as I'm doing this, you know, personal work that I also keep record of it. And, uh, and that's, that's so important to me to, to have those notes. And it's funny, sometimes my therapist will tell me to put down my pen um, and stop writing. Um, it's hard to get a Virgo to stop doing something like that. But it's, it just proved so helpful to be able to you know, record those things as I've been working through them. I feel good in them. I feel comfortable. I feel like the leather will form to my foot in a way that's special just for me. And that's, that's unique and wonderful. Like the shoe is gonna form to my foot, my foot. <laughs> um, and um, that's, that's a special thing. And I feel like my relationship to clothing and fashion and, and art like they're all very much the same and they connect to who I am as a person. 
And if I can feel comfortable in what I'm wearing, I can feel comfortable in who I am. And if I feel like I can express myself fully in, in what I'm wearing, then like, I feel like I can conquer the world that way.